Huh. This is New Meteorites, and we're talking with Chris Avalone of Obsidian Entertainment. Okay. Um, so what, is, what are the trials and tribulations you've encountered in running a, a medium-sized entertainment company, um, you know, in the midst of all the bootstrap small indie companies and, you know, the huge conglomerates? Uh, I think the, the biggest issue we've dealt with is that the pitch and the contract process for a game is very, very long. And generally, you have to do that while you're trying to finish up another project. And because the contract process can go on for like six months, um, that's a large time investment for both the legal team uh, and sort of the heads of the studio. Um, We've been a little bit fortunate in that uh, Fergus can be largely devoted to getting new business development opportunities. And we do have like the out of house, like legal representation to, to help us with the contract reviews. And we also uh, hired agents as well to sort of help, um, help with the pitch process and meet with various people in the studio. But, the, but the, the fact remains that establishing a contract takes a very long period of time. And if you don't have somebody dedicated to that, uh, it can hurt your studio. And I know I've known a number of indie studios that have actually failed for that reason because they don't have someone who has the time to devote to getting a new contract as their current game is finishing up. So uh, once you have that, there's that problem. Um, the problem on top of that is that usually it's the publish, it's to the publisher's advantage to draw out that process. Like the longer that they can keep you going when they know that you know, you're not in the greatest place, um, that usually just results in a better deal for them because at some point you have to sign something in order to keep the studio going. Like we don't, sign, we don't have like some huge reserve of cash to keep drawing upon, to keep things going for a few months until a contract is signed. That just doesn't happen. Um, and we can't afford to keep doing that across 10 to 12 games. Um, so, uh, there's all that. And then usually a number of publishers will want to see, uh, like these things called proofs of concept, uh, for, for game pitches for things like, Hey, how would the gameplay work? Or, you know, how, um, how do you imagine this franchise being an RPG? And there's nothing wrong with them requesting elements like that, but usually doing like a proof of concept of actual gameplay requires a lot of work from a lot of people in the studio and very rarely will a publisher ever play you know ever pay for that so when you're trying to do like seven to eight different pitches and like various publishers want proof of concepts but they want they don't want to give you any money to develop them um that becomes a difficult juggling process for well how do you how do you prove out your game concept quickly using the resources at hand to sort of give, you know, give the studio confidence or and give the publisher confidence in your title. So that requires a lot of time. Um, and that's pretty much the biggest part of the process in terms of just getting the contract signed, getting the logistics uh, taken care of, and uh, just finally getting that, that, ink, that ink finally put to paper and getting the game rolling.